Good morning. It is Saturday, June 2nd, and uh, I've got the H20 14.6 solo canoe on the car, doing my first trip this weekend with it. Uh, I'm on my way to the Halliburton Highland Water Trails to meet up with Sean and Sue, and uh, I think we're going to have a really great weekend. I can't wait. Good morning. I am at the Ranna Lake Access Point. Uh, Sean was already here when I got here. I think he just got here a few minutes before me. And uh, we're waiting for Sue. We've both got our canoes down by the water and uh, just bringing our gear down, taking our time. See all that cold. There's Sean. He's shaking my booty. <laughs> Booties. <laughs> Shake your booties. Shake your booties. So, I guess technically we have three portages if you count this one um, the one from the parking lot to the water. It's maybe a hundred meters. We've got another small 100 meter and then I think the other one's 320 something. Um, so not so bad at all. There's my boat and there's Sean's boat. He's brought his bigger canoe um, because it was easier for him to get out I think he said. And here's the access. Bugs are crazy out here. They are just like swarming. Good times. Here we go. <laughs> I'm already recording. She's are already you? recording. Yeah. I'm like ready to go. Are you there? I'm there. Okay, we're here. We're here. This is fun. You got a bite on your face already? Is that from? I don't know. Is it? Oh, yeah. You got a bite. Big one. Mm. Awesome. Oh. The mosquitoes are squirming. Squirming. Squir <laughs> Swarming. Black, black swarming. flies are swarming. So we're here. Um, Sue and I have left from this access before for yep. your birthday trip. Sean? Never been. Sean and I have never done a backcountry trip together, have we? We did a paddle day. We did a paddle a day, which paddle is what days, this was supposed to be. But we've never done an actual... <laughs> we were supposed to do a paddle day and then last weekend I said, I'm supposed to go pick up my canoe at Fronton Echo Fitters. So I said, why don't we do the paddle day at Puzzle Lake and camp mm -hmm. and then I'd be an hour away because it's a four and a half hour drive to Frontenac Outfitters for me. And then we had thunderstorms Thunder, and stuff. Thunder, lightning. So, lightning. And Sue had her course at Frontenac Outfitters that same weekend, randomly. Yeah. <laughs> so she was going to come meet us. Zach was going to come and bring the boat to me at the campsite. So why didn't which he come today epic. anyway? Which would have been Well, he's working. They're busy. Yeah. His, his outdoor, working he's, sounds like an excuse. He's got his store to run and Saturdays is probably busy, Work. busy, busy. So. Who's going to come in on a Saturday? Well, lots of people, really? I guess. I mean, oh, yeah. who's going to want a canoe or something on a Saturday? <laughs> Seriously? <laughs> Anyway, we're all packed up and ready to go, I think. We have way too much stuff by the looks of it, so yeah, it looks always. like we'll have a good time. <laughs> For one night. We have just done a 117 meter portage, which is just oh, so exhausting. The map's got it wrong. It says 115. Yep. Oh. oh. Two, two so meters. either the sign is wrong, or the map is wrong by two meters. Or the meters. water's come up. And then we have a little one around a dam. Is that right? Yep. Because yep. we switched our axis to run. Yep. Sue, Sue made that call. And then we have 345, I think it is. Into guns. Into guns. And as of last night, we were the only site booked on guns. So, woohoo. Let's party like rock stars. <laughs> Do some fishing. You ready to go? Fishing. I'm ready. Okay, let's go. Let's go. That's a bite, boy. That's definitely a bite. Did you do a close up? Oh, uh, do I got a bite? Oh, it's right in your it's beard. Round. Is it? Yeah. Oh, maybe it's a tick. No, <laughs> no, no ticks this weekend. All right, let's go. Say it again without the swearing, Sue. Jeez, Sean's just like, get in the canoe. I'm ready to go. I want to take a nice picture of the boats. Sean's like, bye bye. <laughs> well, we're kind of off. <laughs> What are you paddling, Sue? Uh, Swift Q8 and 15. I am in the H20 14.6 Pro Light. Sean over here, coming into view on the right, is the Swift, Swift Prospector 16. Now that is a tandem boat, correct? Yep. And I thought you were bringing a solo. Pardon? 
It is. <laughs> Sean's got the traditional canoe paddle. I just told Sue that we're going to have to take our time because Sean's <laughs> using a canoe paddle. We both have kayak paddles. This is beautiful. Well, we were just talking to a guy who's fishing there on the dock. I don't know if you can see him. And uh, he asked if we were going to Tim Hortons. I guess there's a dock or somewhere where we can go. <laughs> Interesting. Well, we've arrived at our first portage with very little effort. It's a very small route into the campsite. Short route. Oh, I'm toast. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just doing my thing, you know. <laughs> Just uh, taking our packs over. I also brought the uh, a separate small backpack with the bear vault because uh, I offered to do dinner tonight, so I've got like a lot of food, and uh, I just carried it which was super, super heavy. It's probably heavier than my backpack. <laughs> but I didn't want to carry it with the canoe. So it's just a small uh, 400 meter, not quite 400 meter portage, but it's the uh, first big one of the season. And uh, as you can hear, I'm clearly winded. I'll do my first official real portage with the canoe. Um, technically I did one last weekend to my the lake behind my house, but I wasn't actually on trip, so feels good. It's just a, a wee little portage, but most of it is uphill, of course. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's all good. Give me a little hoo hoo. Guess not. Bye. <laughs> well, we've arrived at our campsite. Sean's been doing some fishing along the way. No luck yet. And uh, it's a really nice sight. I like it. I'm gonna have some lunch. I'm hungry. Catch anything? Deer. Hmm. You can see the waterfalls from our campsite. That's so cool. They're pretty. All right, well, Sue has nicely put up the bug shelter. We were gonna sit and eat lunch first, but we couldn't sit still with the bugs all over us. So <laughs> now we're ready to sit inside, yes? Mm. Can't wait. I had a little bit of lunch while we were setting up the bug shelter. We just had some kielbasa and cheese, and now we're all just doing our chores. Um, 
Sean and Sue were nice enough to give me the site that's closer to the privy. Um, so that's good for me. And I have a beautiful view of the waterfalls over there. And then they're up closer to the point of the site where there's a lot of wind. And they probably don't have these crazy bugs like I do, but such is life. <laughs> So, what's going on here there, Mr. Rowley? Fishing, uh, real fixing. You broke your fishing rod? Nope. Care to give me any more details? Somebody else did. Somebody broke your fishing rod? Theirs. They're real. Mm. I heard that person's having some bad luck today. Mm. Having a bad day today. So you had a bad day. <laughs> Sorry. Um, so do you think you can make it work or what? Oh, look at you. A little bit of MacGyver in and it's all good to go. Until she catches a big fish. Watch, nope. I'll catch the biggest fish of this weekend. <laughs> With my broken rod. All right, we got the tarp set up over the fire pit. Wow, things go really fast when there's three people setting stuff up. Put the bug, no bug zone in there. Put your fingers on it when you do it. Sean and uh, Sue's tents over there. Very nice. I can do that. Well, if you hold it up. And then over here is she, Camper Christina. Lots of bugs. <laughs> I feel like we're going to be hiding in there a lot later. I'm not sure if Sean thinks we're going to follow him doing this, but... <laughs> well, Sean found his way. I found mine. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I don't have to right now. <laughs> we're trying to get over to see those. Alright, so I found a little path that went through the grass and eventually it came out. We just had to had to get out of the boat for a few few steps there and push it the rest of the way, but not bad. Sue's still in there. And Sean's over by the waterfalls taking some good toes. Well, we're having a pretty awesome day. Um, started out with a nice easy paddle into our campsite. We set up camp and um, now we're beside this beautiful waterfall and uh, we're just sitting out here fishing. It's great. There's a light breeze so it's kind of getting rid of some of the bugs. Well, it's almost four o'clock and um, it feels like it should be much later. Like it feels like it should be at least six or seven. Um, we've been paddling around the lake, fishing. Sean went and got some firewood. And now we're heading back to camp to unload the boat. And uh, there's still a creek over here by our campsite I want to check out. So I'm going to make sure I do that before we go tomorrow. There's a view of our beautiful campsite. Can't really see much, just the no bug zone and the tarp, but that's probably where we're going to be for the next, I don't know, 
eight hours or so. Well, some lovely person sent me this in the mail. It's called the Coast Cricket Energy Bar. Yes, crickets. And I asked for the chocolate chip. <laughs> um, I just happened to get this just before I left for this trip. So what I thought was I would break it open and, we'll be all and give a little piece to Sue <laughs> and give a little piece to Sean. Awesome. Who I know are just dying to try this and see what crickets taste like. You're witnessing an epic event right now. <laughs> Sean has had this bug jacket for how long? Oh, about five years. Five years. And, and I've never used it. You've never used it. But about 30 other people have. Yeah. Because I always give it away. I always let other people use it. So Sue and I both have bug shirts on. Is that why you're going to wear it? Or is well, it I'm that the bugs are the bugs smacking off my face irritating now. you that much yeah. that you're like, screw this, I'm done? Yeah. Yeah. I was feeling like that earlier when we went out, but now I'm okay. Okay. Oh. I guess I gotta do it at the bottom, really. Yeah. Looks oh, like a dress. Yes. This is awesome. I need one of those. I can dress up like a lady. <laughs> All right, for those yeah. of you who keep asking me for product reviews, here you go. <laughs> Mine. Cricket not bar so and a good. bug shirt. Yours is not so good? No, they What do you got? Uh, Canadian Tire something, something from 18 years ago. Okay. 20 years ago. Okay, and here I have, um, it's called the Junior Bug Shirt. I can't remember the name of it, but they sell it at Canadian Tire. And I got it last year, but I've been getting them the last three years. My one last year finally ripped from portages and the bugs were getting in. So I think it's about, what did I say earlier? 23 bucks, 24 Something. bucks. Yeah. And then you get the pants too. And I love it. I have a, a mesh thing to put over my hat. This has a hood like yours does, but I find that the zipper gets stuck and then I'm like, <laughs> So I wear a hat with like a bug thing over it, but I sprayed my, my headliner. I was about to call it a bow. <laughs> I sprayed my headliner and ever since then, I, they're not really, they're not sitting on me. They're just flying around, bugging us, right? <laughs> okay, back to Sean. I'm thinking you need a hat. Well, Sean, you look I like think an you. astronaut. <laughs> <laughs> because it come, tends to come down in your face. So you need... A hat. I think I gotta put a hat on underneath this yeah. to keep it out, right? Oh, bug. I, I find like when I wear the bug nets, you can't wear one without a hat. It just like totally. So I'll go get my hat in a minute. So this bundles around my wrists and it's got the uh, little thingies here to tighten and loosen. Look at that. Both. It's amazing. Got a big one right around the waist. I like the pocket in the front. I'm a fan of pockets. It's like a kangaroo pouch. <laughs> Wouldn't you freak out if I pulled like a baby kangaroo out of here? That's amazing. <laughs> I would think it'd be cool. Is this no? Let me see the. This is oh, the, the original, original bug shirt. All right. Right, and it all packs down into this. Did pocket. you get that through your paddling adventures radio podcast? I got this. At, or did you buy it? I bought this at Mech. Wow. Well, you yeah, think people was, would be giving you stuff? You have a radio show. I this mean, this is this was before. Oh. That's I how see. long I've had it, right? All right. But we've only been on the air what three and a half years now. And, and uh, what do we have here? I don't know. I'm gonna lick my finger. Bird, lick your fishy yeah, lick. cricket fingers. Yeah. And, oh. Nice little easy zipper, it doesn't stick. Like Sue's did? And it accommodates the beard. Mm. That's important. Yeah. It is important. Very important. <laughs> Oh boy. I d I'm in definite need of an upgrade. I don't know what that is. Oh my god, somebody got something on my bug shirt. Heads will roll! Well, I'm back out on the water and um, I have to say I really, really am loving this canoe. Um, I just feel super safe in it. I feel like um, I've been paddling it forever. Um, it doesn't feel new at all to me. I'm not uncomfortable in it in any way. Um, I love the foot bar. It really makes me feel stable and it helps me control the boat a lot. Um, Sue and I had a little race across the lake today and uh, I had some pretty good speed in it too. So um, yeah, overall so far, I'm really loving it.
wish you could smell the smell that I'm smelling right now. Um, you know, spring is a very special time. Yes, the bugs are out and they can be really annoying, but there's so many amazing things going on. You know, um, there's all kinds of baby animals, baby ducks, baby geese, baby loons, and everything is new. The leaves are all coming out. The plants are all blooming. Uh, there's flowers on the blueberry bushes and it just smells so fresh and natural and uh, it's just amazing. I totally love it. Sounds like I found some waterfalls or some rapids. Not quite sure. I was about to turn around and I heard the sound and I thought, ah, oh, it's five more minutes. Go for it. I'm home. I went for a paddle. I found the other portage. 